Happy Monday, happy Monday, happy Monday. How are you doing? <laughs> We're so near the shortest day of the year and I'm really happy about that because, well, we could do with a bit more light, couldn't we? And today I wanted to talk about when things just don't work anymore. What do we do in our lives when we have tried and tried and tried and tried and tried and tried and tried, and tried to make something work and despite our best efforts, we have been banging our head against a brick wall and whatever progress is made is short lived and then we move back again and we're back in the position that we don't want to be in that we know isn't working for us. What do we do? Well, we stop. I have two situations in my life that I've been working through, one personal, one professional, that this seems to be um, an issue in. And it's made much harder when you have a vested interest emotionally because obviously you care about it, whether it's a business, whether it's a relationship, it's something you've nurtured, it's something you've put your time, you've invested into. And walking away seems like uh, giving up. We've talked about surrendering. And this is where I want to bring surrendering in, surrendering to what is for the highest good of all. And my suggestion to work with this week is when something isn't working in your life, it's time to stop trying to make it work. The law of diminished return says that the more you want, the more you need something in your life, the less effort it should be to be able to bring it in. So whether that's love, whether that is financial rewards, whatever, whatever it is you actually need, it should be easy. The more you need it, it should be easier to be able to bring into your life. And that means... Being able to get out of our own way. <laughs> so invoking Ganesha. Uh, Ganesha is both the placer and the remover of obstacles in our lives. And those obstacles are placed there in order for us to be able to align more, more fully with the divine. So this is where I'm going. Stop the struggle. None of us want to live in the paradigm of struggle. We're all moving into thrive mode. And that means co-creating the life that we want to live with grace and with ease. That is the intention. So everything in life needs to mirror that. You will soon find the areas of your life that don't mirror that. And those are the areas that we need to just love more, accept more, move through more. So when you are re ready to let it all go, when you are ready to risk it all, that is when we are most close to gaining the rewards that we so deserve. And actually the universe has gifts for us that are just for us to receive. We don't need to do anything extra to, to deserve them. They're just there. So opening yourself up to the flow that's available to you is the first thing. Stop, center, ground, take a few deep breaths in through the crown of your head, out into the earth. So you breathe in through the crown of the head, connect with source energy and send that energy down to Gaia, down to the center of the earth. And then breathe up Gaia's energy, you know, that support, that um, liberation current that comes from gravity up and frees up, my God, <laughs> um, that moves up towards source and the manifesting current moves down towards Gaia. So we want to invoke those. And then I invite you to uh, open your heart to where the struggle is in your life and ask for divine guidance. What is for the highest good of all here? Universe, I hand this situation, this relationship, this business into your hands. I don't know what to do here to make this work. And I've tried so hard and whatever I do, it's not working. So handing it over, surrendering it, surrendering it to uh, the universe and also to your higher self. And then asking for a miracle. We want to ask for a miracle so that we can see a shift in our own perspective. And with the shift in our own perspective, that means that we can see solutions that we otherwise couldn't. And that may well mean that we need to part ways with a business, with a relationship, you know, there, there are times when we actually do just need to step away and to trust that we will be provided for because whoever pays our bills isn't actually our employer, it isn't actually our clients, it is source. And how open we are to receiving source's love and energy and guidance will actually determine how abundant we are in our life. And abundance shows up in many ways, shapes and forms. It's not actually just monetary abundance. So I am handing over those things that I just cannot deal with anymore. This week, I'm handing them over. And whether that is world peace and why we're bombing Syria, whether it is um, to do with something that seems to be failing, however hard you try, it is time to hand it over, ask for a miracle and a shift in perspective. And then allow your heart to guide you as to the actions you need to take. Do nothing until you are guided to do something. And when you are guided to do something, do it fully. Do it with your heart. Do it with courage and be truthful, be in your heart about what feels right for you. If you can get there, then you can start to create what's for the highest good of all for everyone. And we always intend win, 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 win situations. Whatever's good for me, 
I want to be good for you. And you set that intention, it will help you to then see the way forward. So let's try it this week all together. And uh, I hope to see many of you at our Christmas party on Sunday. We're having a mini cacao ceremony. And then the Christmas party, I think we kick off with the ceremony at 3 p.m. or 3.30. And then um, we've got the uh, Christmas party after that. So look out for your emails. Get in touch if you haven't had one. It's all going to be down at St. Augustine's Church. And I'm going to be there and I want to see as many of you as possible. So hope to see you there. Have a beautiful week. Come to yoga tonight if you're around. Lots of love. Namaste.